Welcome back. You're still tuned into your stocks and uh, apologies to our uh, guests who are waiting by because we have to postpone that discussion a little bit. Gail's numbers are also flashing on your screen. Net profit at around 1,500 crores. This is versus the estimate that we had of almost 2,000 crores. So there has been a miss on that front. The revenue has come in at 38,500 crores. This is versus the estimates of 35,462 crores. So uh, slightly higher on the revenue front. The EBITDA also seems to be a mild uh, actually, uh, quite a miss on the EBITDA front. 1765 is what we have on the EBITDA. So there's quite a miss there as well. And uh, the stock, as you can see, has just fallen off a cliff. It is in the red right now as we speak. Uh, just to run you through the numbers again, of course, we're waiting by for more details, but the basic numbers are on your screen. So uh, revenue, like I point, okay, we have the margin figure as well. Uh, it is not looking good. The margin is at 4.6%. This is versus the poll that we had of over 7% in the margins. Uh, that is why the stock is perhaps tanking like this. Uh, just to run you through some of the numbers that we have, uh, profit has come in at around 1,500 crores. So there's quite a miss on that one. The estimate was of around 2,000 crores. So there's a miss of around 500 crores on just the profit front. EBITDA on your screen, 17, 000, uh, 1,765 versus the estimates of 2,614. So almost 1,000 uh, crore miss there as well. And the margin is uh, where there's a big disappointment as well, 4.6% versus the estimate of over 7%. Um, that is what we have in terms of, um, you know, in terms of uh, the basic numbers. We're waiting back for more details. I'm also going to try and connect with Sonal to see if she has uh, managed to pick up any more details. But uh, that is what we have. Uh, yeah, so let me just, uh, if our guests are connected, I'm going to try to uh, bring them in. Shaina, if, uh, if you can hear me, we have Gail's numbers and you know, like I was pointing out, there seems to be quite a miss. The margin has also come in sharply below what was expected. Is this a stock that you track? Uh, well, I think uh, Gail's numbers uh, definitely look like uh, it has missed some expectations. Um, I think in terms of uh, overall uh, performance, it was expected to uh, have some impact because of higher gas prices. So I am not terribly surprised that the numbers are a bit disappointing. And in terms of uh, uh, you know the way the stock has performed, I think the stock has really uh, not given you a very good return in the last couple of, uh, I would say, uh, uh, quarters and um, I think uh, it should uh, languish around these levels for some more time. Okay, should languish around these levels. We also have Sachit Anand who's uh, joining us right now. Sachit Anand, uh, I don't know if you heard me reading out the numbers, but you know, there seems to be quite a miss on the profit front. EBITDA is sharply below estimates. The margin is at 4.6%. The estimate that we were working with, uh, everything taken into consideration was 7.6%. Uh, any thoughts on Gail's uh, second quarter earnings? Well, Pavitra, I think uh, the stock has been oscillating within this particular range of uh, 80, 82 on the lower side. And on the higher side, it has been facing resistance at uh, 70, uh, 92 kind of a mark. So I think immediate basis, uh, we may see some out of uh, you know profit booking here. But eventually, I think uh, if you look at the broader structure, it is it has shown some signs of improvement. So probably uh, this consolidation phase may continue. Uh, for next couple of months, but eventually we see it breaking above 95 zone. So uh, technically, if you look at the structure, the structure looks improving and probably a uh, decline towards 88 could be bought. All right, uh, that is the technical view coming in on Gale. Uh, we also have Sonal joining us on the phone line. Uh, Sonal, you know, we were expecting a weak quarter anyway for Gale, but this seems to have come in well below that as well. Oh yes, it has. It is a top-down miss coming in from Gale. Net profits at 1,500 crore rupees uh, versus an expectation of 2,000 crore rupees. But the real uh, miss, Pavitra, has come in on margins at 4.6%. Uh, it is almost half of what the street was working with and it is largely led by the natural gas marketing segment. Remember, we were talking about how they did not get enough volumes from Gazprom because of Russian sanctions. And that has definitely impacted volumes in this particular segment, which has led to their EBIT declining. And this time around in natural gas marketing, they have done EBIT of almost 400 crore rupees. Now, remember, it is the most volatile segment for this company. If gas prices go higher, spot energy, that is, they tend to make profits, uh, windfall profits, so to say, on some of their cargoes. But this time, they did not get enough cargoes, and hence, they could not take benefit of the higher spot LNG prices. 
This compares with a quarter on quarter EBIT decline from levels of 2400 crore rupees now sitting at 400 crore rupees. Even on a YY basis, it's a big decline. In the last year, they had made gains of around 1100 crore rupees in the gas marketing segment. Apart from that, it's the petrochemical segment where the losses are huge. 346 crore rupees of loss in their petrochemical segment. And uh, these two are the reasons why we've seen a big decline. Even LPG is lower, largely led because of lower LPG realization. They were low 15% on a sequential basis. So uh, three segments have not done well for the company. Natural gas marketing, petrochemicals and LPG. Transmission services, they are also lower, but not as bad as feared. Uh, so these three segments have led to this big fall in margins this time around. We'll get more updates in terms of volumes and what are they doing in terms of capacity utilization, but definitely a miss on Gale this time. Oh, absolutely a miss, all-round miss on Gale. And uh, like Sonal was pointing out, it is the margin figure which really uh, sort of stands out at 4.6%. The estimate was over 7%, 7.6%. And remember, last quarter, the company had done around 11% uh, in terms of margin. So you can see the kind of contraction that has come through on Gale. The stock also under pressure. It's currently half a percent in the red. But you can see that sharp fall on your screen right after the earnings hit us. So that is a roundup on uh, Gale. But with that, I'm going to apologize to our guests and get to them, such as Anand Shahi.